work hard. Be somebody. Yeah. And be something more than what you see in the mirror. Yeah. Let the world be your mirror. Don't let them judge you. Because the mirror can't judge you. You judge what you see in the mirror. What's up, YouTube? It's Tyler Knight. You're tuning to Ty's Life. I'm about to be reacting to a, uh, another Jimmy Harold video, another Michael Jordan video. I don't know. This might be a, a Jordan marathon or something. Because uh, my last four videos has been about Jordan. Um, but the last the last videos have, have been really good. Um, you can check them out if you want. They're all uh, Jordan videos. Um, I think three out of the four is Jimmy Harler Jordan videos, so you can go check that out. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers as soon as possible. So yeah, definitely hit that, with that, that subscribe button, that like button, also comment. Um, this video is called, it took Michael Jordan eight years to pull this off. So this is Jimmy Harler with his uh, interesting titles. Interesting captions, uh, interesting uh, thumbnails. The, the first time I seen the thumbnail, I had to click on it. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna react to this. So uh, yeah, let's get into this video. Graphics is kind of unbearable. I, I can't. I don't know. These graphics are terrible, but we'll get through it. November 6th, 1990, a ringless 27-year-old Michael Jordan and his Bulls have gotten the season off to a slow start. Back-to-back -back losses, and now with time winding down against the Celtics, they are looking at their third loss in a row. Not the most ideal way to kick off the season. But little did he know, this stretch of losses would go down as one of the most significant events in his entire career. Because for the next 2,777 days, Michael Jordan would never lose three games in a row again. What's up, everybody? It's Jim. Brothers, <sighs> we need to talk. For years, Trap Sax has provided us with the most beautiful, inspiring background music we could ever ask for. It really hit home with its fat bass and smooth jazz riffs. But unfortunately, the studio that owns the original sample from decades ago won't let us use it anymore. I know, I know. I might as well just delete my channel now. But as much as it hurts, we must rise and stand tall for our fallen brethren. So let's take a moment of silence for the incredible, the incomparable Trap Sax. You know what's kind of weird though? Um, this, this video is from 2019. Wait, I swear he was using it in his recent videos. So I don't know what happened with that. Maybe he must have like figured something out, and it was, or they weren't copywriting his videos. Like that. I don't know, but he, I'm pretty sure he's been using it recently. So. Hmm. But. 
But if there's anything that can cheer a basketball fan up, it is a ridiculous, awesome Michael Jordan story. And boy, do I have just that. HoneyBook is the one-stop shop, and I've been using them for years. HoneyBook is the hub. Edward of all the accomplishments MJ had amassed in his 15-year career, possibly the most impressive and untouchable feat is one that you have probably never even heard of. A couple years ago, someone pointed out that from November 7th, 1990, up until the day Jordan won his sixth ring and hung up his Bulls jersey for good, he did not lose three consecutive games. That's 2,777 days without losing three games in a row. 500... That's crazy. <laughs> that is. That's crazy. That's crazy. So he never went on like a losing, like a bad losing streak, like. Never lost three games in a row. I can understand that because their team is probably like the best team of all time. The the Bulls team. Scotty Pippen, Dennis Rodman, if it was around that time. Um, I think Dennis Rodman might have might have been later, but cool coach. Um, yeah, they have some solid players on that team, like a good all around team. So I can get that. Probably the best team of all time. That's still crazy. The fact that he did not allow he did not allow his team to lose more than three three games straight. That's that's tough. That's that's very tough. To go through 2,777 games without losing three in a row. Without going through a slump, basically. You lost two games in a row, all right. We're going to bounce back. It happened every time. They always bounced back. Always. It was never like a bad losing streak. That's, that's, that's crazy. That's difficult. That's not easy. Especially playing against like the best players in the world. Even though they're the best team in the league always... They're still good. They're still like professional players at the end of the day. They're still the best players in the world at the end of the day. And you, you never lost three times in a row to like in, in your season ever and in playoffs. Like, well, in playoffs, that's not going to happen with Jordan. Definitely not. Definitely not. Because if they lose three in a row, then the series is basically over. But when it's, when it's um, in the season, that's, that's, that's tough. But that's the Bulls team. I, I, that makes sense. Jordan probably wouldn't allow that. But it's still crazy. 100 regular season games, 126 playoff games, coming to a grand total of 626 matchups without a single three-game losing streak. Now, when I first heard this, I was skeptical. I mean, a streak of this caliber sounds virtually impossible. In fact, mathematically, it is virtually impossible. But after further investigation, I'll be damned. This man really went nine years, almost an entire decade, without taking three L's in a row. I'm searching, crazy. digging desperately to find out the truth surrounding this claim. And that it is 100% fact. Crazy. As if Mike didn't already have enough accomplishments. As if the man wasn't shitting on the competition bad enough, two decades after he laced up for the last time with Pure the Bulls, domination. and we are still uncovering pieces of his dominance. It's crazy. To put the magnitude of this streak into perspective, in 2010, Ben Blatt of the Harvard Sports Analysis Collective crunched the numbers on such an absurd streak, and his calculations revealed some absolutely absurd numbers. The probability of an average NBA team accomplishing such a streak is... You ready for this? About one and one quadrillion, or point zero 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 zero. Wow, <laughs> they're really the best team of all time. Chicago Bulls, like that team, throughout the six years, like the six years of uh, um, the winning those championships. All six years, the best teams of all time. Like, depends on, like the way they they switch the team a little bit. Rodman was there, a couple guys left or whatever. But 
with that core of, of Jordan Pippen, um, I don't know who else was there for a while with them. Who stayed? I think Steve Kerr. They just that that probably five or six players that's been there from the, that's won all six championships with them. With that core and the coach, Phil Jackson, they were that dominant. Like you just couldn't beat them. It's crazy. And this shows like their 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 team is the best because no one else can do this. No one else can be that dominant. They're just that unique. Crazy. Two hours Numbers right don't lie. Zero, 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 one, six, six. Which is a number so vast and so unlikely that there really isn't anything to compare it to. Yeah. For example, the odds of a high school basketball player making it to the NBA is about 1 in 3200. Odds yeah. of one day becoming an NBA champion are about 1 in 22,500. Mm -hmm. Odds of winning an Olympic gold medal are 1 in 662,000. And odds of winning the Powerball, 1 in 300 million. Wow. So, yeah. MJ pulling this off is mathematically wow. by far his greatest accomplishment. Yeah, for sure. I was a good player, for but sure. something was holding me back. That is so Even hard to do. the programs I used, I just wasn't you go through in the game. all those games, no. and you don't lose three in a row. You don't go through a slump at all. Two in a row, okay. And they bounce back. Alright, I gave you those two games. We're winning the game, the next game. We're never losing three in a row. That's crazy. Like, <laughs> wow. Now, you may be thinking, that is tough. this was a team effort rather than an individual one. Yeah, so it's not just Bulls Jordan. should be getting credit as well. Yes, and that's, what I, that's why I say the Bulls are the greatest, it's the greatest team of all time. I obviously, like... If you watch my videos, I say that Jordan's the greatest of all time. But in this aspect, it's everybody. It's it's the whole team because Jordan can't just do it by himself. You also have Phil Jackson, and you have Scottie Pippen to help, and you have all the you have your core players. It's switched up in, throughout the years with the role players and stuff like that. But the whole like their formula and of, and, and and what they went out there and did, and and the the um. The, the guidance they had from Phil Jackson, it just it just worked. It just worked. And they just didn't go through a slump. Like, it always worked. And the numbers show. Numbers don't lie. And that's why I say this is the greatest team of all time. So for this stat, it's like, wow. I'm looking at the team, and I'm like, wow, this team is special. They have the – obviously, they have the greatest player of all time, but you also have other players that just – Let's put it together. And the coach, too, Phil Jackson. He has a lot to do with this, too. Like, it's crazy. Although this is a valid point, when you look into the numbers, you'll see that this isn't quite true. Due to Mike's first retirement and players coming and going, even MJ's own teammates don't have a streak like his. Although, Dennis Rodman uh, racked up one... Okay, so... So what's Jordan's streak? Okay, this is Jordan's streak, but Jordan also had players around him to help that too, and he had Phil Jackson too. So it has a lot to do with him, for sure. He is that dominant, but the fact that he had players around him to, to help him do that too, like he would take over games, but he would also have Scottie Pippen to lock up the best player on the other team. Or Jordan can do that too, but Scottie Pippen, sometimes he would, he would take the load off of Jordan of what he has to do on the on the de defensive end, and he'll lock up the best player, and Jordan will get busy on the offensive end, and and yeah, and that's how their system works sometimes, and and I feel like he's had a lot lot of help both sides of the floor. He had guys he can pass the guys that could that could hit shots. He always had that. He had Ron Harper, who was a great defender. Bill Cartwright, he was he was pretty he was decent. Craig Hodges, he was he was good. Um, BJ um, Armstrong, John Paxson, Horace Grant, like they have some solid role players like throughout those years. But you can see that's that. There's a lot to do with Jordan. 
but the team that he had, you can just tell that the, the Bulls are the best team of all time, and Jordan is the best player of all time, just from those stats. So, yeah. Hell of a streak himself. Check out the current streaks of NBA teams in regards of games since their last three consecutive losses. Including the playoffs, no team has managed to go even 90 games without losing three in a row. In fact, only six teams have strung together more than 20 games without losing three consecutively. Look at how many teams have zero games since their last three game losing streak. Wow. Zero. If you add up all the streaks from every NBA team, they still don't come close to Mike's 626. Absolutely insane. That's if we crazy. take a look at some of the more dominant teams in modern NBA history, you will continue to realize how difficult a streak like this truly is. Michael's streak spanned eight years and seven active seasons, and only came to an end because he retired. The reigning NBA champions, the Toronto Raptors, lost three in a row just this past season in November. The three-peat Lakers lost three games in a row in February of 2002, nearly three years after their streak began. Throughout the last five years, the Warriors have been the winningest team over any five-year stretch in NBA history, and even they lost three games in a row on four different occasions throughout this five-year stretch, including the infamous... Jordan wouldn't let that happen. This is... The, that's what the... That's what this video is about. Jordan would not let that happen. He would not let a team be him when he's up 3-1. He would not lose three games in a row. So that's what makes Jordan special because he would not allow those things to happen. So There's a lot of players. There's a, there's a good amount of players that probably wouldn't allow that to happen. LeBron, Kobe, Jordan. Magic probably wouldn't allow that to happen. Like, I was surprised Curry allowed that to happen. But then again, you're going against LeBron, so what could you really do? LeBron, I think LeBron's the second best player of all time. Some some people argue that he's the best player of all time, so I disagree with that. But people think he's people. A lot of people think he's the greatest player of all time. So once you're going against that, six eight to what 60 and he can move like that he can pass the ball he can shoot he can block he can do all these things he can do everything on the court going against that is tough so i do blame steph but it's still tough it's still tough because lebron was was on a different he was he was on a mission he's on a mission for sure he was on a mission and i guess the coldest they got relaxed and you can't get relaxed with lebron honestly LeBron and Kyrie and those guys and Kevin kind of Love, you can't get relaxed with those guys. So, but what I'm trying to say is that like Jordan would not allow that to happen, and it just you can sh it shows it shows it shows that Jordan's special. Like things like this happen to people three L's in a row in the playoffs. We all know Jordan's not allowed it to happen. Jordan never lost. He even lost. He hasn't lost three games in a row in a season. That's insane, and there's 81 games in the season. So each season he goes through, he did not lose three games in a row. Like, it's crazy through that span of time. So, creating a simple website to go to Google Analytics feels like a really It takes. You guys are go. I knew he was on the best no, football don't time. get it twisted. There were a few occasions where Jordan's streak nearly came to an end. Yeah. Like on April 9th, 1991, when the Bulls beat the Knicks by just two points after losing their previous two games. Or on February 1st, 1993, when they escaped in a four-point victory over the Jazz. Here's a game from 1996 when the Bulls edged out the Warriors by just four points. Mm -hmm. Jordan dropped 40, and by the way he was playing, he was not gonna lose that game and nope. then finally on june 11th 1997 when the jazz nearly beat the bulls three times in a row in the nba finals of course jordan wasn't gonna let this happen so he dropped 38 and chicago won by two 
And when you look at the numbers in these potential streak ending games, it's almost like Jordan knew he had this streak going and was ready to go to any lengths to not see it come to an end. That or the more likely fact that MJ was the ultimate competitor and anytime he lost back to back games, he came out locked and loaded, ready to absolutely bury anyone who stood in front of him. So knowing the player MJ was, this isn't too surprising. But when you take a closer look at the numbers, assess the astronomical odds of this feat, it's hard not to be amazed. And I find myself saying this after every single Michael Jordan video, but what else should we expect? I'll leave y'all with this. Here is a chart showing streaks of games without three consecutive losses by all-time NBA greats and current stars. These are streaks held by some of the best players and Jordan's gonna be all the way at the top of all time on historical teams. Towards the bottom, you'll see Giannis, Harden, Durant has had a decent streak of his own at 181 games. Top. If you go up the list, you'll see Shaq, Kobe, and Steph floating around 300. Right. Keep going, keep going. And way keep up going. there at the top. Keep going. All alone. Keep going. 620s. Is Michael Jordan in a league of his own? League of his own. He separates himself from everybody. Now, before I go. let y'all go, a good friend of mine recently started a YouTube channel similar to mine, but with football. It's called Defying, and he breaks down crazy stories, interesting events, and gets into some of the finer details you never knew before. If you enjoy my channel and you are a fan of the NFL, college football, and even high school football, check out his channel. We have some projects we'll be working on together in the future. Dude really knows his stuff. <laughs> check out his channel. Show him some love. Man's has some good stuff. But that's going to be it for this video. Stay tuned. Big stuff going on over the next couple weeks. Love y'all. And until next time. That was a tough video. Yeah, that was tough. 100%. Wow. Well, two points I said throughout the video, it proves that the Bulls are the greatest team of all time and Jordan's the GOAT. Simple, simple. It's a fact. But um, yeah, like I said, it was a great video. Uh, if you want me to react to more videos like this, um, hit me up in the comments, my DM at night underscore tie tie on Instagram. Um, yeah, like I said in the start of the video, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers um, as soon as possible. So yeah, tap that subscribe button, tap the notification button to be notified when I post. Stay blessed, stay lit, and I'm out. Look, uh. I know my actions speak louder than me. They gon' always try to hate on what you trying to be. Then when you make it, try to tell you that they always believed. All they do is deceive. Then when you fall, all of a sudden they leave. <laughs>